Hi friends, welcome to Techie Track YouTube channel. So today we are going to discuss about top 5 IT jobs in India. I sorted out these jobs based on the salary as well as the number of vacancies in the uh, market. So first job is data scientists. So you may know about big data. I just give the brief introduction about the big data. So what is big data? So big data means we have the large volume of data. How the large volume of data will come? For example, while you are searching a particular content in the internet and you are purchasing any item or selling any item in any of the e-commerce sites like Flipkart, Amazon or whatever it is, Snapdeal kind of like that, you are purchasing that. So the data is keep on growing. For example, you are searching any shops or any shoes or bags in a particular brand and you are purchased that particular item. So that data, so where you are searching the item and which item you are finding that and what is the cost. So based on that, these informations are stored in a separate server. So those data is available to all of certain companies for example those data are for example you are searching certain items in snapdeal or flipkart so those data they have that based on the data they will uh, analyze the data so what item you are purchasing for example you are purchasing a, a phone so if you purchase the phone if you see that they will also uh, beneath that uh, screen they will show that you can also buy the phone cover and uh, scratch card those suggestions they are giving that right so these are all the things are coming based on the big data suppose last week you purchased any shoes means this uh, they are while you are uh, in this week you are uh, searching sh uh, phone at the time also they will show the another uh, different kind of shoe details also to you or socks details to you so based on the information they will show all the details and they will show the offers to you for these kind of information they are using the big data technology so the same kind of technology is used in various industries like uh, e-commerce industry uh, hospital industry and uh, banking industry lot of industries are utilizing the data and selling their products in the via the e-commerce sites so those kind of business decision and analyzing the data those kind of uh, analyzing information and taking the decision and provide the ideas to the business those kind of uh, program needs to done by the data scientists so the role of the data scientist is analyzing the data and come up with some ideas based on the data come up with ideas and provide the ideas to the business so the business will take the decision based on the ideas provided by the data scientists. Okay, we will see what is the salary they are going to get that. So here I started out three kind of uh, uh, three three levels of uh, resources. For example, if the developer is a beginner uh, developer in uh, one to four years experience, then their starting package is. Uh, 7 lakhs so 7 lakhs to 12 lakhs they will get that if the developer is if the so once their experience is grow to four, 5 to 9 years right they will get 13 lakhs so if their experience grows to 10 plus years then they will get 25 lakhs so this salary uh, is uh, 7 lakhs 13 lakhs 25 lakhs are based on the per annum so for per annual year per year how much they can get the package amount these are all the things are the package amount so next thing is sorry next uh, job is artificial intelligence professionals artificial intelligence professionals like they are making the machines to learn making the machines to learn so how it is working right now if you are giving any instruction then machine is working on that but artificial intelligence means they are educating the machine to think itself so you may also 
different kind of things like uh, robotics also there you may, uh, so most of the people saw about that uh, robotic movie and then or some other hollywood movies right so the robot will take the decision itself and it will react right so uh, those are all the things are called artificial intelligence so the machine will think about itself and it will react for example you you are uh, seeing certain ads like alisa right uh, so that uh, alisa and uh, google also introducing another one uh, uh, search engine uh, sorry that uh, box round box so that is uh, so those are all the things are uh, artificial intelligence so it will think itself and it will ask, it will guide the user and it will give the information to the another machine so like uh, it is a separate uh, device so that device is having cert- certain goals and it will uh, reach that so earlier we are giving the information to the devices for example we ha- in our uh, home we have the automatic uh, machine right so once we set the time then it will uh, do the function itself so that is called the artificial it is a small kind of artificial intelligence because you are setting the timers and what are all the programs you need to do that it will do that itself but if you are in an office and you need to control your washing machine from from your office so how can we do that for that we can use the alexa so alexa is one of the unique product of artificial artificial intelligence so you can make a call to alexa and alexa will instruct the washing machine and it it will do the it will provide the proper information to the washing machine and it will do the it will wash the wash your clothes so this is a simple example of artificial intelligence so the artificial intelligence should know about the computer robotics and good analytical skill that is the artificial intelligence uh, main knowledge so generally the artificial if the artificial professional is in the entry level he will get minimum 8 lakhs and in mid level he will get 17 lakhs and if he is a senior level 24 lakhs so again i am saying this uh, lakhs are in a plus or minus will be there i am not uh, saying the exact amount because based on the company based on the experience and based on the exposure how the particular person is attending the interview and showcasing their level showcasing their skill based on that only the company will decide and give the salary to them okay next one is full stack developer so what is full stack developer so the responsibility of the full stack developer means a developer you know that developer means they need to uh, write the code so the full stack developer means they need to do the website design or application design plus they need to write the code in service level and they need to manage the database also so the full stack developer role is like end to end end to end means so they are working in front end and middle tier services and back end functionality of the application for example uh, if you are a full stack developer you need to design the web page or design the app for example you have a simple text box is there once you click the uh, text box that value needs to be stored into the database so you need to create the page to put the text box after that if you click the submit button that values needs to be validated either it's valid or invalid so for that uh, we need to write the service once the value is fine then we need to store it into the database so that is called full stack developer let's see that how how much amount a full stack developer can learn so here full stack developer needs to start with 7 lakhs if he is in a beginner level mid level is 14 lakhs and senior level he will get 20 lakhs he or she will get 21 lakhs per annum next one is cloud computing so cloud computing means like if you want to do if you have the internet in your machine you don't want the separate desktop or separate laptop to develop the application because the cloud computing is like 
you can do the data storage you can manage the servers databases networking softwares and everything will be in the cloud machines it is not in your physical machine what is either you have the desktop or laptop or whatever you have that you don't want to install database you don't want to do store the data you don't want to install the servers you don't want to worry about the server uh, rights and other things because everything will be in the cloud so the cloud environment will take care of everything for that you need to pay the amount for the uh, cloud machines right so based on your demand you can increase your hardware configuration or in, uh, change change your versions of the database for example if you want to improve your performance mean you need to add ram or you need to increase the hard disk size right so then you need to go to the any it electronic shops and you need to purchase all these things so it will take some time you need to purchase the ram and fit it into the machine and you need to change your configuration it will take more time but if you are doing the cloud computing you don't want to worry about it because you can simply change the size for example your cloud server is having 4 gb ram you can change it to 8 gb ram just change the number and you can submit it so the appropriate cloud vendors like aws or azure microsoft azure gcp ibm oracle they will take care of it and immediately they will change the server configuration i will put more videos regarding these uh, topics so you will get more idea about that okay next one is devops engineer so devops engineer and full stack developers data scientists right all the things are interrelated for example once you develop the application in either you are using the big data or you are using the full stack knowledge you need to deploy the application into certain environment either in production environment or qa environment or dev environment you need to somebody needs to launch the application deployments launch the application into certain environments so that launch the application and uh, the application needs to be re released properly databases needs to be configured properly servers needs to be configured properly we need to manage all these things right that configuration part that a complete software development life cycle will be completed by the devops engineer so i will show that how much the devops engineer can learn so devops engineer starting salary is 5 lakhs for uh, beginner level mid level 13 lakhs and senior level is 23 lakhs so thanks for watching this video you will get definitely you will get more ideas about the it jobs like it share it please subscribe this channel and share it with your friends happy learning bye bye